Hey there, thank you for joining me. Uh, planning on talking about having a bit of fun this Friday, but to be honest, I'm so tired. It's been a long, busy, hectic week. Um, today and tomorrow, my wife are doing our yard sale uh, with um, some of our family, and it's, uh, it's going to hopefully be really good. Um, you know, I've messaged me just before recording this. We've already sold uh, some good things. So uh, we're we're in Swayze on State Road 13 if you're interested in uh, doing some yard sailing. But it meant yesterday was a very long, busy day. It means that today will also be a um, long, busy day. And tomorrow will probably be another long, busy day. And, uh, man, I'm just, I'm, I'm pretty tired. And we don't talk, when, when we think about, you know, wanting to be fun like we want to have fun and we talk about you know you get your time off you talk about going on vacations and everything we don't often talk about how we get tired and sometimes we need rest um, and that that's not the same as having fun always uh, you know sometimes uh, it is great to um in in your free time exercise is a wonderful thing uh, it's great to go on those more exciting trips um to you know, accomplish goals that you've always wanted to go see things you wanted to, um, having fun um, during your free time is a good thing, but we also often neglect talking about how much. Yes, we need to have a lot of fun, but we also need rest, and that does include sleeping, but it includes a lot more. Um, so. Just because I say rest doesn't mean napping necessarily. Um, it rarely means looking at a screen. Um, as much as we, you know, think about, you know, we're going to veg out in front of the TV or we're going to binge Netflix and, oh man, I'm going to have, you know, such a restful weekend. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to be sitting in front of a TV. It, uh, there's, there's a lot of studies that have shown that the way TVs work on our minds, that doesn't allow our minds to rest. And so yes, our body isn't doing as much physically, but our minds are still having to fire as aggressively as they were otherwise. And um, so this, this weekend is gonna be kind of crazy, kind of hectic, um, but I'm looking forward to once uh, Saturday comes around after church, um, sitting down, relaxing, and there are several things that I've done recently that have been kind of helpful for that. Um, I think we sometimes forget how relaxing it can be um, early in the morning, late in the evening to just sit outside and take in the sounds. Um, depending on where you're at, there's going to be a lot of traffic noise, which I know is not very pleasant, um, but just listening to the birds listening to the wind rustling leaves in a tree getting that kind of quiet and that stillness can bring us a lot of rest and peace and and i i enjoy reading you know reading for a purpose is very good and very helpful and um i'm part of the united methodist church and we encourage that very strongly to um, you know read Christian books read um, for uh, people who are doing something to lead in a church, whether you're a pastor or not, um, reading books about that. You know, if you're leading a Bible study, reading books about how to make it better, how uh, reading books about the Bible. Um, if you are, um, you know, actively leading a church, looking at books on on leadership and the, the different things that you think will be important for you to move a church forward during this time, all, all those things are helpful, but I've heard so many friends tell me that they cannot pick up a book to read it anymore because of all the reading that they had to do in school, becoming a pastor, um, you know, in their educational training for their careers. They had to do so much reading that now they, they can't stand picking up a book because um, that reading was just not what they were looking for. And I feel that. Um, and there's nothing wrong with just picking up 
a random uh, lightweight fiction novel that is going to teach you nothing but might be fun to read and will help you relax. Um, whether that's just an easy reading mystery or horror, thrillers, romance novels. I mean, we can debate, you know, the, you know, kind of morality around how the novels portray different things. And that's fine. But there's also a time to be like, you know, man, I just need to be able to read something that will give me rest. And as you're reading, uh, your mind's actually going to re rest more than if you're staring at a screen. Um, so even if it might be easier for you to interact with this video than to go pick up a book, picking up that book will be more restful for your mind. The light in the screen will not allow your mind to turn off as much as picking up a book. And you might find out, pick up a book, sit in a nice comfy chair, wake up an hour and a half later, like, oh my goodness, I took a nap as long as you had the time for it. I mean, that is amazing. It helps to get you rest. And we often don't realize how negatively affected we are with our lack of rest. But it affects all parts of our life. It will negatively impact our interactions with other people. Um, it impacts our emotions. It impacts our ability to focus. Um, it impacts our ability to hold on to things. People will talk about how like we're we're not remembering things as well now as we used to. Well, a lot of that is the lack of rest that so many of us are experiencing. Um, I don't think it would be a stretch to talk, say that, you know, levels of depression and anxiety are largely down to a lack of rest. Um, and so it, it's not the, you know, fun, exciting thing that we're normally going to be thinking about when we talk about having fun on a weekend. But this weekend, I would really encourage you, find a way to rest, to, to truly rest, to, to get away from a screen for some time, to uh, get away from the constant doing of things, uh, find a chance for your body to rest, find a chance for your mind to rest, find a chance for your soul to rest, because when we are finally having the rest that we so desperately need and crave, um, I think that's when we end up being able to have the most fun. We'll be more creative. We'll be more energetic. And um, if we want to be able to have that kind of fun, we also need to make sure we take the time to rest. So that, that's my fun for this week. It's not the exciting thing you might have been expecting, but looking forward to it. Um, Sadly, going to have to go a couple days before I get there, but I am looking forward to it. Thank you guys for joining me for some Friday fun. God bless you. Bye.